Hey everybody, what's up? It is Jackie and welcome back to our channel. I have missed you guys. I'm so sorry that I've been kind of just so slow putting out videos, but I promise you it's because I've been worn out. <laughs> But I am here today to do my week 14 and 15 pregnancy update. So if you're interested, then let's begin. The first thing I want to say really quickly is hello to all of our new subscribers. Um, I hope you guys are doing well to all my oldies but goodies. I hope you all are doing fantastic. And uh, let's see what's going on with the baby. I have a few things written down. So if you see me looking down, that's that's the reason. So weeks 14 to 15, baby is the size of a lemon and an apple. So he graduates from the lemon to the apple. So about three and a half inches to four inches. And then for weight, one and a half ounces to about two and a half ounces, okay, at 15 weeks. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I've been feeling. First of all, I have been doing so well. My energy is back. Um, it just feels good being out of the first trimester. First trimester is always so difficult. But I will say that as soon as I hit my week 14, it was just like, oh, here we go. Now let's do this. This is the sweet spot of pregnancy. Um, so yes, high energy, feeling great. Um, eating has been no problem. I still haven't gained uh, weight back yet, but I'm still staying within my normal range. So no weight gain, but no weight loss. So I'm, I'm very happy. With Copeland, I did not gain, I think I gained seven to 10 pounds with Copeland. Um, so this is pretty normal for me not to gain anything right now. So I'm very happy and I shouldn't be because I'm a, I'm a bigger girl so I don't really need to be like packing on the pounds. So all is great there. Now what I'm gonna tell you guys is that I have been dealing with a lot more headaches since I have crossed over to my second trimester. It's like as soon as I hit week 14, it was just like, Oh man, I forgot about these. So the headaches, they haven't been horrible, but headaches just don't feel good. So um, I've been trying to increase my water intake. I'm still going to the chiropractor and she always asks, she's like, are you having headaches? I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah. She's like, yeah, it's totally normal, but she was just encouraging me to drink more water, um, which I have been. And I will say, I don't want anyone to think like, just because you drink more water, your headaches are automatically going away. That's not true. Um, I have been keeping up with my water intake and I still will get them from time to time. So I think it's just one of those things you, that you just have to go with. So just, just letting you guys know that much. Um, so yes, headache starting, but I am still increasing my water. So it's the only thing I can do right now. Every now and then I'll try to take Tylenol. I'm not trying to take a lot of medicine. So it's it's very sparingly. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Again, I am having some heartburn. With Copeland, I didn't have heartburn until the very end of my pregnancy. With this baby, I'll be laying on my left side and I am perfect. And then as soon as I turn on my right side, it's instant heartburn. It is just crazy how that happens. But I'm like, okay, this is a lot different. But yes, the heartburn is... It's not horrible, but when I lay down on my right side, I always get heartburn. It's like instant, it's it's crazy. Um, though the other thing is at night, guys, I'm peeing like crazy during the night. It's, it's about two to three times during the night. So the need to pee is just like, do I really have to get up again? Do I really have to get up again? And then it's like, sometimes I'm jumping up so quickly because I really have to go. And then I'll feel that round ligament pain. I'm like, oh God. But about the round ligament pain, for those of you guys that followed me from my last pregnancy, and I think it was week 15 that I really dealt with severe round ligament pain. Um, and a lot of you guys, you all write me all the time telling me that you guys are in the same state. Some of you guys have been to the hospital. I want you guys to know that I am praying for you guys. When you all send me something, I pray for you guys right then and there um, because 
that was no joke uh happily i will say that this pregnancy this pregnancy i have not dealt with that the round ligament pain it'll just feel like a band kind of just like pulling in one spot of my lower stomach but that's it i did not go through that excruciating pain um at least not yet so i'm i'm praying that that's not happening this pregnancy but um i do want you guys to know that i'm praying for all of you guys that are still dealing with that and i'm so sorry and you know i just try to tell you guys to do the whole chiropractor stuff um and then now i have a pregnancy belt so with copeland that did not work with this baby because it's very very mild the pregnancy belt is perfect and my midwife actually um she was trying to get me she was encouraging me to get it because she was like this is your second baby she was like and everything kind of just goes out so fast she said so kind of get that pregnancy belt to just lift everything up and keep it you know nice and compressed and high and that has helped so much and it has also helped with lower back pain um so yeah then i will say that guys i started feeling flutters week 14 and I was just so excited and this is very early for me because with Copeland I don't think I felt anything until about week 17 or week 18 um but because I know what it feels like now I'm like oh my god babe I'm having flutters and so he was all excited too um and to me flutters the baby moving at week 14 it literally feels like a baby squid or something that's just in my tummy moving around it's very very quick and it, it just feels weird it feels so weird but very excited um to feel the baby move so that always makes me extremely happy um what else do i have on here guys so this pregnancy like i said is completely different I, and I mean, everybody says that, excuse the noise in the back. Um, everybody says that it is definitely true. Uh, when I was pregnant with Copeland, my skin was like butter. It was amazing. This baby, oh my gosh, my skin like all here and all under here, which is my problem spot. But I'm like, dang, I'm using my skincare, my good stuff, and it's still just... Like getting dark and um like my bumps are raised i'm just like oh my gosh I'm like this child is just freaking havoc on my skin so that's been having uh happening and then my hair so with copeland my hair grew and um it was thick it was very thick this baby my hair is super thick as you all can see like my edges are all grown in but let me tell you that whatever baby is in here my hair is like it's already coarse y'all i have 4c hair but it is so thick and it's even more difficult to manage i'm just like my, my good heavy duty products like i am trying to really work it into my hair so this child, I don't know, it's stealing some stuff away from me, adding some stuff. Um, I was even telling my husband today, I'm like, I'm like, my body is just, it's just a lot different. Like usually when I use my, when I use my deodorant, it's, you know, it'll hold me and, and I am good to go. Whatever's happening right now, honey, that deodorant does not hold long. <laughs> child is just oh so things are a lot different in my body this time like with COVID I didn't deal with any of this but this particular baby I'm like okay we're, we're a little different so um yeah that's what has been going on in week 14 and 15 of my pregnancy i'm still taking the baby and me i think it's the mega food supplement so i have to take four of those a day and then i am taking the oceans mom uh dha and then i just take one of those um so yeah that's what i'm taking i'm gonna show you my belly and then we're done right guys so let me just lift this up here we have this is the belly from this side 
here is the front and then here is this side so we're coming along quite nicely i will see you guys in my next one bye